so for today's lab i am in aws console home i will go to my vpc dashboard here i have one vpc in the us east region i will go to the flow logs and i will click on create flow log i will give it a name filter type is available is accept reject and all so you want to track ex you want to capture accept request reject request or you want to ca capture all traffic aggregation interval is 10 minutes or 1 minute if you will go with 1 minute you will have uh, lot of data but as i am doing it for the short time so i will go with the 1 minute destination as i told you in the overview that you can send the logs to the cloudwatch logs you can send it to the amazon s3 bucket or you can send it to the kinesis firehouse either in your account or in a different account so i will choose amazon s3 bucket and i have to give my s3 bucket arl so for that i will create a new bucket everything i will keep as a default like acl disabled and block public access etc versioning disabled and i will hit on create bucket now my bucket is created i will go inside the bucket will go in the properties and will copy the amazon resource name will paste it here log record format you can either go with the default format or you can go with the custom format so here you can capture uh, different things like the eni id that means interface id what is the source ad address destination address port and protocol etc and the size of the packets and also the start and the end time log file format i will go with the text default packet i don't want to use it with the bunch of packets so i will go with the text i also don't want high compatible i will hit on create flow log so if i go back to my bucket so here one folder is automatically created that aws logs and currently there is no data captured so it will take some time in the meantime what i will do i will go and spin up amazon athena so here i will go to the service and click on athena here it is giving me the message that you need to set up a location for the query result so i will click on edit settings so here i have to give the s3 bucket url select my bucket go inside it and here i will create a folder with the name say athena results and will create a folder i will copy the s3 url and here in the setting i will give the uri and click on save now i will go back to the editor so here i have zero tables so first we need to create the table to analyze the data so what i will do i will go to my web browser and type ppc flow logs athena i will open up the amazon docs link inside this i will scroll down and will copy the query to a table statement for amazon vpc flow logs will copy this and paste it in my editor so here i have to give the location of the logs so what i will do i will go back to my bucket and go to aws logs folder and here the data is generated i will go inside this folder and us is to so we need data up to the region code if you see the 
location required is up to here. So what I will do? I will copy the S3 URL and will paste it here. Now I will execute the query. Now query is executed successfully and you can see the table has been generated with the name PPC flow logs. Now what I will do? I will go back to the AWS documentation and here I will copy the alter table query. So this is a quite manual process but I will tell you the automatic way in one of my future videos. So let's paste this query. So I have to modify the date. <coughs> so today's date and today's month and today's day. And here we have to give the location up to yyyymmdd. So what I will do, I will go back to my bucket. We will go inside this month and I need the location till here. So I will copy the S3 URL and will go back to the editor and will replace this string with the my location. Now I will execute this query. So query completed successfully. Now I have to select the data which I want to view. So I will copy one of the select statement from the AWS documentation and will go back to the query editor. Here I will modify the date and execute the query. So here you can see the all the query complete result, the version, account ID, interface ID, source address, destination address, etc. Even you can short it accordingly as per the parameter you required or even you can download it if you need. Now I am done with this lab so I will be cleaning up the resources. So first I will do, first I will delete this table. As the next item I will go to the settings and I will remove the URI S3 URI and now I don't want VPC flow logs so I will go to my VPC dashboard go inside the flow logs and here I will be deleting the flow logs also in my bucket I don't want these folders so I will be deleting those as well okay so these objects have been deleted so this marks the end of our lab today I hope you have enjoyed today's session and learned from it please do provide your feedback I hope to see you in the future videos so thank you for joining and have a good day ahead Thank you.